We're back with more. Oh, no, 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 no. I messed up. We're back with more um, Life is Strange. Um, I'm really excited to see more of this game because now it's going to be all like new stuff. I never played it, um, etc. Yada, yada, yada. Um, Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Victoria is going to be pissed as took if some... Juliet, extreme reporter. Thane is still a cheerleader at heart. This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. At least that's an alarm from this century. Which one is ours? They live. This action will have consequences. I wonder what that means. Oh, here's Max. How there. sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. It's so sad. Like, home this sweet game home. Is gonna be my favorite cocoon. Interesting game, I can tell you that. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. I love that Mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. I want to see this. What do we play? I just want to hear some of it. I just wanted to hear some of what we were playing. It's just going to be instrumental, I guess. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Ooh, we gotta stop that. I don't want music. I would get mad <sighs> copyright. Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says so cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day mom and I sewed that together. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to Warren even you left me a message your bear's his flash eye. drive. He's such a goofball. Story. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Looks like Dana left me a little... Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Juliet Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend. Looks like Dana left me a little great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Oh, I get up. Oh wait, this...
You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Okay, this is so stupid. Answer, you wuss. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, no. Max. I've locked Dana in the room what because we're cool. Doing? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my you boyfriend. Oh, Ouch. wow. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Mm. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I, I don't guess talk a lot doesn't mean I don't on care. That really much. So how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana mm -hmm. admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. No, I think go search for Victoria's room. Uh. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. She must be too good to shower or something. Victoria is a real Jefferson group. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Boom, this is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Yeah, we do. <laughs> this better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Juliet, Here's read this. The... Horse. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Well, that's exactly what we came for. That was the only thing we came for at the, this point. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Ooh, Dana's Facebook wall is up and running. I shouldn't look. I guess we have to go back to my room, unless we are supposed to. It's better to use it on our computer, not her computer. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice. I better make sure everything is still in there. 
I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. But it? Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it, she has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're mm -hmm. smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. So do we leave now? Is it time to leave? Fuck this shit! Ow! That hurt! Damn! I better rewind. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Fuck this shit! Fuck this shit! <coughs> Fuck this shit! Ow! That hurt! <laughs> Ouch, poor Alyssa. That'll leave a bruise. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. What the hell just happened? Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and Dave. I wouldn't have intervened if you take a picture. Uh, do doesn't that mean, um... I should have done something. That guy was an asshole. At least Rachel Amber has people who care about her. There's Warren. Yo, Max, check it out. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. 
Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. For a week, I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. <laughs> no, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white, plus babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. <laughs> Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? Oh, You're one shit. of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer I told me, him bitch. the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what, give you a stern lecture? Nobody, nobody lectures me. Everyone tries though, <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! Oh, I got this! Get in, Max! Let's go. Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! That's easy. Nobody! Shit! That, that escalated quickly. Nathan Man. Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Uh. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. I oh, and glad to. thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. Yeah. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. 
You came back for Blackwell Academy. Yeah, she did. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Why doesn't she tell him her? Broken? Oh man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. Home shit home. <laughs> My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. It won't play without any power. Houston, we have the power, but we need to find a disc to play. Oh. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Where is this disc? I think this junk swallowed her discs. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. Where is the damn... We had such a blast drawing these together. <clears throat> I'm trying to find it. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Is it up here? <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. I'm looking for the damn... Nothing but junk in this suitcase. Where the hell is the damn... 
Is this the CDs? Please be the CDs. Finally. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. He's putting it mildly. Oh no, is that the missing girl? That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Oh, Rachel shit. saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. So, Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. Huh. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the oh, love. Oh shit. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. The poof. And Damn. you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now?
thing go? Yes, you have mad skills, Max. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. Let's go. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Are you shitting me? That asshole's everywhere. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today, you set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared too, I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question, did you tell anybody? Absolutely, Nathan Prescott had a fucking gun on you. Gutless prick. That was scary. Who did you tell? The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Yeah. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. This is, this is great. I love this. Their chemistry is so good. I uh, know it was your birthday last month. Oh shit. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it. And now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> Song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. Chloe. 
I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second. My... Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. This Give me a minute. This is going nowhere fast. I better look someplace else. I'm not a kid anymore. I can't hide under One the bed. Second. Where else? What? I'm stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. I'm giving you exactly three seconds to open the door. One, two, three. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. Yeah. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh, yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon. Hey, leave Joyce out of this. I wish you'd leave Joyce, like now. Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother and you just keep pushing me. By the way, I have proof you got all up in Kate Marsh's face today. Surveillance proof. What? You best stay out of my work. Then stay out of my life. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. <laughs> I'm sorry. For real. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hick hole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? That is a choice, but I'm going to end it there. And um, I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next video of uh, this game. Bye guys, bros. Well.